again. <sighs> Stopped on this little spot for some pod bycatch. Couple of nice fish right there, Deb. Yeah. jump around the arm. That's a good thing. Oh yeah, good flow. Looks nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, these are nice fish. Beautiful top. That one little howl of it. Nice big little lunker on the bottom. Codfish are beautiful. Yeah. Rocking it.
Yeah, what a beautiful day, guys. Such a change from yesterday. It wasn't rough, but the wind makes it so hard to work in. Tires you out. Boat drifts really fast. So, sure is nice we get to enjoy today. Even with our mechanical issues, so. It's kind of a hard decision to, to try and stay and fish with something like that going on, but. But after monitoring it closely, pretty confident we're okay. Yeah. It's not leaking a drip right now, so. The weird thing is last night after a long drift, when we were shut down for a while, I fired up and I, I smelt an antifreeze smell. And uh, I checked things out and I couldn't see anything. And engine ran fine, no problems with overheating or anything. But uh, this morning, you know, during my engine room check, I always check everything in the morning, check the, the fuel, or, uh, excuse me, the, the oil in the main, check the oil in the reduction gear, and check the water, and it was low. And so it took about three quarters of a gallon, and, and I looked at the water pump, you know, where one would expect it to, to be leaking and show a sign, and sure enough, it was wet right there. I could see run mark and, uh, yeah, so I knew it was that. It's like, oh dear. So it had me pretty worried, fired up, it's leaking, you know, just kind of drip, drip, drip. So I thought, oh, I'll loosen the belt a little bit. Maybe that'll take some pressure off of it. And then it was a pretty good trickle. And that really worried me. <laughs> so we tightened it back up and, uh, and it was still leaking. And then it slowed down and, uh, and now it's completely dry down there. It's not leaking a drip, so. Other than that, the good thing is we got a couple of boats here. One's way off in the distance. Another guy here, I talked to him earlier. They said that they were headed back to town this evening. So if worse comes to worse, uh, we got some, some company here anyways. Yeah, so I talked to Anita a little while ago. Um, just texted her on our, our sat phone, our inReach. And uh, she's going to get the the parts exploded view for our engine and the parts list and we're just gonna go ahead and get a new pump on the way they're pretty expensive they're well last time i checked they're about 700 bucks but it doesn't really matter it's just part of the job part of the cost of doing business and we have rebuilt this once before um gosh probably over 10,000 hours ago I'd say actually about 12,000 hours ago. And so we can rebuild it, but that takes time. You gotta bring it in. You gotta get the impeller pressed off. If you pull it apart, you discover the anything wrong with the impeller, then you're gonna have to wait on one of those. And really, we wanna get a new pump on there and get back down here, because this is good fishing. So, yeah, so that's where we're at. Yeah. Might be able to put a good cod trip in down here. Yeah, I hope so. It's been uh, quite a while since we've been on good cod fishing. Yep. And then plus we got our old pump. We can take it, rebuild it, put a new seal on it, and we'll have it for a spare. So. It's all good.
chucking these guys down in the fish hole. Come on ice, start cooling. <laughs> 